Hey, how's everybody doing today? Notch back with you guys on the old automation. Um, today bringing you kind of something a little different. It got requested and so we're going to build it with our spin on it, I guess you would say. Um, so we're going to start out with a V6 and we're going to go with basically building a Vortec 4.3 liter. Um, the one that actually I had recently, I believe, was an aluminum block. Came out of one of the newer. Um, I think it was like a Blazer or Jimmy or something like that. One that I had picked up that I had got rid of not too long ago. Actually traded a pizza for it, which was kind of funny, but nonetheless, um, let's get to it. It's got a 4.0 bore. It's actually the same bore and stroke as a small block Chevy, from what I understand. Um, so we're looking at a 4.0 bore, and the stroke is going to be 3.48. Look at that, right on the nose. 262 cubic inches of this whole monster right here that you guys are going to be seeing go together today. A little, a little different doing this one, I guess. Okay, so what do we got here? That's not modern, I don't believe. Let me see. Boop, 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 boop. Back in. It's a push rod system in it. You guys can correct me. I'm fucking wrong. But I believe it's actually push rodder. Pretty sure it is. I'm gonna pop the bell cover off that fucking thing. I looked at it at all. I just scrapped it. Actually gave it away. Um, we're gonna go with aluminum heads. I'm um, a variable valve. Now inside, we are gonna start to beef it up a little bit because we're gonna see what we can get out of this little son of a gun here. Um, we're gonna go with forged crank. Beam steel rods. Yeah, we'll go with I-beam rods on there. Wood pistons. Compression. We'll keep all this the base just to start with for the time being. We'll put together, take a little look at her. The aesthetics right, you know what I'm saying guys? Might go with the ones with nothing on them. Liking those, just the regular ones. Regular little valvey covers. Shit. Chevy orange on them. Why not? It's not really Chevy orange, but it's it's damn close. Hugger orange. You can only go naturally aspirated with this. Now this is gonna throw a big loop into what we are gonna do, so. I was going to try to take and stick a huffer on each side of this thing and just blow it to bits if we could. But it won't let that happen, guys. Damned you, this game. Okay, so. Let's mix it up a little bit, I guess. Injected. It's a mechanical injection. We don't want to rock that. Do a multi point EFI system. We're gonna go with a mixture on it. We're gonna do a little something different. It's actually got individual throttle bodies or throttle per cylinder on it. So there's actually a throttle body for each intake runner. So that's gonna be kind of cool to check out and see how that works. You guys can see it a little bit better right here with the uh, velocity stack sitting on top of it. So that's really cool looking. Pretty, pretty badass right there, I do have to say. Mean looking little V6. Um, let's put some good fuel in her. Richen her up a little bit. Leave all that good kit and caboodle where it is. Some race tubular headers on this thing. He's crazy, crazy. Equal length manifolds is basically exactly what they are. That's why you've got 
front pipe running down and around your back pipe, your back pipe running forward and down and around. It makes each one of these bends actually in the pipe length um, even. It actually helps in scavenging of the exhaust. Let's take and make the exhaust a little bit bigger. I'm going to say maybe three inch for right now. Catalyst converter, none like usual. None on the first muffler, straight through on the second like usually we do. Let's put back together, take a quick look at her. Quick look, see. Definitely a cool looking little beast right there, man. That's. It's a whole lot different than I would expect a little 4 3 to look. If I seen that underneath the hood, I'd be like, um, that's not a 4 3, man. It can't be. It looks badass. <laughs> Let's hear what it sounds like real quick. Oh wow, that's different. Let's go into test mode and let's see what we can start to pull out of her, I guess. Backwards and forwards. There we go. Little game bug. Wow, it's going to want a lot more RPM out of it. She was still climbing from what it looked like. Some torque. This thing's definitely not going to be a powerhouse. I was hoping we were going to be able to put the old nuts right to it and see what happened. But, um, not going to be that way. You can see that already. But, we'll have some tweaking we can do with it. We did have it rich as all hell. We're going to lean her out. Lean as mean on her. We can get a little bit more okay, with the timing a little bit. Just a lot more timing, maybe? A decent amount, that's for sure. It was actually falling off right there, so we're going to keep it at that RPM that it was at. Now that we know we can't go boosted, we should actually raise the compression without a doubt. Should have kind of went that way in the beginning, but... It is what it is. Okay, cam profile. Get some more cam into it. Try to pull some more RPM out of it, too. See if we can't do that. Oh, it's definitely liking throwing the old cam to her. like it is. Definitely doesn't need to have anything else done to it. I feel at least. Like the whole throttle per cylinder idea. It looks very cool even though I guess it's not not the greatest for torque. But it's working. more fuel in it. She's part devil. She's halfway there. Getting 
getting close to floating valves in her. 63 is where it's peaking. So, bring it to 64, I guess. It's damn close to peaking and uh, starting to float out valves, though. So, now with that being done, exhaust size being changed with a bonus. Actually, single. What if I went duels with it and stepped it down some? Okay, dual exhaust. Two inch dual exhaust. Something like everybody likes to go with a crazy big exhaust. Bigger's not better. You need back pressure still. Scavenging. Back pressure helps. Actually, with that being said, I'm curious to see if long tubes are the tubular headers. Short cast, cast manifold. Oh, wow, that puts a hurting on everything. Wow. No, actually, those race manifolds work real nice. Yeah, so we're going to keep it with the 2-inch exhaust. The duels on it now. Clipper all back together. Get the little teeny duels kicking out the back of her off to the side. As you can see right there. Not too bad. Manifolds are crazy. This is a cool looking little engine though. I definitely think it is. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Give her a pull. Listen to her, see how she sounds this time around. It sound a little different. I installed that pulley. Wow put that thing on or made that whoever manufactured that pulley needs to be shot that thing is so off balance as this thing didn't just grenade itself check her out sounds different, that's for sure. Wow. I'm wondering if the throttle bodies would open when I got into it. That would really they need to fix that already it's just me getting picky about the game I guess now that is bad though guys who the hell put this on there Look how bad this is oh lord the balance is off so bad I can't even I can't even bear to watch that. Can't even. I can't even look at it anymore. Shut it off. Just turn it off. Make it stop. Oh lord. Let's go back one. That was like basically the max that we were gonna be able to get out of it right there, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I don't think that's too shabby though for an all motor. V6, guys? Gotta think. There's no boost, no nothing. It's just this little motor doing its own thing. It made 350 horsepower and 315 foot-pounds of torque. That's one nasty little V6. I have to say so myself. Actually coming in naturally aspirated. I'm definitely impressed with it. Let's kick her off one more time before we shut her down and see what she's, get, what she's got going on. I think the, the sound of it's way different. Oh, I can't stand that pulley. Pet peeves, guys. Pet peeves. You're going to make a game, and I'm going to play it. Don't have shit like this. It's just fucking ridiculous. Ridiculous. Crazy pulley, unbalanced junk.
Definitely different sounding. I wish I was going to be able to put the turbos on it though. That would have been really, really nice to have done that instead of going with the uh, the throttle bodies. But I think the, the ITB setup, the race manifolds, it's definitely a cool little engine in its own, for sure. Um, it's one of those things that it's it's just unique as all hell, guys. I think it's the only one that I've ever seen that was built or set up like that. But there you go, 4.3 Vortec with an RDW twist, I guess.